What are we doing here? I thought we were studying whale evolution. We're on dry land. All marine mammals evolved from land mammals, including whales. We're here to see Pacasitas. Wow, there it is. It looks more like a pig dog than a whale. Wait to see what happens to it as it evolves. Yikes, I'm not getting in the water with that thing. The Ambulocetus does look like a link between a land animal and a whale, doesn't it? Yes, it's pretty streamlined and hunts for fish, but probably comes onto the land to have its babies, although scientists can't be sure. And we are next to a river, not the sea, so it's not like a real whale. Well, I know we're by the seaside, but I don't want to go swimming with that either. Oh, come on in. Rhodocetus probably only eats fish. We're far too big for it to chew. And its nostrils are at the top of its head for easy breathing in the water. This water is nice and warm. We must be in the tropics. Will it be as warm as the next place? Let's see what happens next as it evolves. The water is nice and warm here. Are we moving out to sea? Yes, and look over there at that dolphin-sized creature. It's called a gyrodon. A gyrodon? Now that really does look like a whale. It's got flippers instead of legs, and its nostrils have gone further up its head. Yes, these evolutionary changes really suit the gyrodon to its home in the deep ocean. But I want to see a bigger mammal. Wow, that's huge! Yes, it's the Basilosaurus. They grew up to 20 metres in length. It's like a stretched out whale. Look at its tiny head! Everything is like a whale, except the Basilosaurus still has nostrils. So what do whales have instead of nostrils? Mm. Blowholes! I'll show you. Time to return to our own time. What's that noise? It's a humpback. It's huge and I can see its blowhole. Cool! It's so different from a Pacasetus, where we started our journey. You're not wrong. 